This is take number two. <laughs> In the rat's nest with Gunner and not Chef. I'm the rat man. What we got here is a filter that somebody has put on with a tool. And if you put them on with a tool and then you crank them down, you're not going to get them off very easy. Real difficult. And this tool here, you know, goes over the end of your filter. It won't go over the end of that filter because your stator wire comes out right there and it hits the stator wire. And don't, don't mess with your stator wire. <laughs> if them ever come unplugged going down the road, shut her off and then plug it in. Don't do like an old guy I knew done one time, just reach down there and plug it in because it goes zap and your stator goes. So just look. Yeah. I don't remember who did that. And that's like seven hundred uh, dollars. A lot of money. Right a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, seven hundred nine thousand and two <laughs> or something. I have no idea. But this one, this one you put. Well, I put this on the filter. You see, you guys use that. This where this is what I use on most of them because of the stator problem. And you just put the wrench in there and then tighten it, and it comes right off. Well. That thing is on there so tight, what this was doing was collapsing it. It was collapsing the filter. the filter. Smashing the filter, yeah. Yeah, just <laughs> drive a screwdriver through them, all the way through. You can see the screwdriver kind of coming through at an yeah. angle there. And then you can grab it and twist it. And then you got to jerk the screwdriver out again. We already did the twist it at once. Let's see if it's loose enough to come out. I mean, that was, that. Oh man, that's still okay. and it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> <laughs> hot, hot. <laughs> okay, all right. And we picked one of the cooler days to do this. It's only 104 out, so 104, something like that. <laughs>
wrench. Put a wrench on it. All right, we're going to grab a wrench, but there's your oil plug right there. We're going to pull that off, drain it into there, and then we put everything back together and start slapping the oil in it. But this, uh, you can see where that is. It's right there. You got a little uh, plug and sensor there, and then you got that thing. I think that's a 5 8 I'm pretty sure. I'm going to grab a wrench. We'll pull that off. You no started. Idea. Now we got... Got, it was a 5 8 like I thought. Sometimes I guess pretty it's good. A, it's uh, yeah, it says 5 8 Oh, and that's a good shot of it right there. 5 8 Yeah. Now he's just going to finger it off. <laughs> yep, and it's going to be hot, so I might jump. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's hotter. Oh yeah, that's real hot, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, real hot. you want some rubber gloves? No. Nah. Condom? Nah. Okay. We're good. There you go. Let her go in there. I ain't worried. That's real warm. We ain't worried about it. There you go. That's lava. That's hot. Lava hot. Now if you want to drain it, we'll show you how to drain the crankcase there too. Get the there's a no, a quarter cup or something in the bottom of your crankcase. If you want to drain all the oil out of the thing, you can do that. Or you, I think that one's over here, isn't it? That? It's straight up. Yeah, right there. We might show you a little fast clip of that. We did drain the oil out of that also. Yep. So we have there's all not much there. Oil. Yeah, not much. That should probably should be more than what there was, but that's why we're that's why we're doing oil right now because yeah. that that happens. Yeah. Well, it don't hold much in the crankcase. It should have a pump, I think. Dig it. I've never taken one apart. I've blown them apart. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were with me when that happened. Probably. Going through uh, Texas. Anyway. Oh, did you? Did that happen to you down there? Yeah. No kidding. That just that just fried my motor. By the time I got back, it was not working good. But there's how the oil comes out, guys. Look how clean that is. Yeah, that's uh, that's what we call at Gunner and Chef Beers, Bikes, and Byways a Imperial Stout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing there's nothing cooler than that right there. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. All right, there's two minutes of that one. We're going to put all these together and send them out to you. We'll get this thing ready. We're headed to Sturgis. Yeah. Well, when we first started it up, naturally, you're, it's going to clatter a little bit. But you watch your oil dummy light. That'll go off almost immediately. Then your oil pressure will build up. If the oil light don't go off and you don't build oil pressure, shut it off right now because something ain't right. There we go. That's an oil change on a, what is this, a 1903? 1903? Yeah, something like that, yeah, it's a, it's a 2013 Road Light Ultra Touring model. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a, it, it's a couch with an engine. Oh, look at this. You got your new little phone holder. Uh, yep. Yeah. that nice? You like that? I do. It's really good. And it's made by Moto... Moto Wolf. Yeah, Moto Wolf. It's uh, specifically designed for older models of uh, uh, iPhone. Oh. Well, cool. All right, hey. Unless you want to get put more, that's it. That's my first rodeo. You taught me that a long time ago, yeah. Mr. Gunner. Yeah. Okay, what we got here is a fan trying to cool this thing down. We got we got the big sucker sucking, and we got the other guy. <laughs> the little sucker sucking. <laughs> yeah. We're taking it out. Taking it out. We're taking it out. Taking the oil out. I'm going to show you where the oil drip. Oil, uh, we're assuming, anyway, that we got it. Where you got it? Oh, there you are. Right in here. It's an Allen wrench. I don't know what size, but it's that size that's on the end of the wrench. And we're just going to drain the oil out of the bottom of that, whatever that is. I'm thinking that that might be the bottom of the motor. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got this pretty loose, so I'm just going to go for it. Grab it. Yep. Go for it. Let her go. It's going to, here, here's some light for it you. It might be hotter, be hotter than blazes. It probably is going to be hotter than blazes, but I'll live. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you hear him squealing like a little girl, remember he said. It's coming. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Not a drop on you. Well, just this one. 
Just, just that one right there. Okay. It's not hot, and we've we've actually we're, we're smart about it and let it cool for a bit. Boy, there ain't it ain't dripping a lot of oil out of there. No, no, nice redheaded looking oil. Uh, here we go. It's still rather hot though. Nope. Oh, I'm at it. Not gonna lie. Yeah. 